try to make some money, Mad Money. On this edition of Mad Money, we're here to educate you. by selling used medical equipment. The company changed its ways throughout the 1950s when Bacon and Palmer decided to create their own equipment. The first stop in the assembly line was a portable pacemaker, which came in very handy after the blackouts of 1957. They now had portable pacemakers for people so they wouldn't die during blackouts. Today, Medtronic is considered one of the world's largest medical technology companies in the world. It's controlled by chair, its chairman and CEO, Bill Hawkins. It is time! It's time for the lightning round! Solvency ratios. <laughs> Measure a company's ability to meet its long term obligations and to survive over a long period of time! Here's an example the debt to assets total ratio. The formula is total liabilities over total assets. What does it do? It compares the amount of debt a company has with the amount of owners have invested in the company. Investment! Investment! Let's look at some data from Medtronic and their competitors from the last fiscal year. Medtronic has a debt to assets ratio of 48% this year, meaning that nearly half of their assets are financed through debt. Wow, that's a lot. Meanwhile, Boston Scientific, <laughs> meanwhile, Boston Scientific comes out with only 12%, but St. Jude Medical is up there too at 42%. What does this all mean? It means that the higher is the debt to assets ratio, the higher the risk associated with the firm's operation is. You could also say that a company with a relatively high debt to asset ratio is highly leveraged. That is, the degree to which the firm utilizes borrowed money. Which could be bad if creditors begin to demand repayment. Maybe Medtronic should try to finance more of their activities with equity. And then they can outperform their competitors in every possible way! Yeah! Money! Company's current ratio is the measure of their ability to be current liabilities with current assets. This ratio allows creditors to determine if a company can meet its short term obligation. The higher the ratio, the better the indicator for the creditor. Medtronic's current ratio improved from 2.07 in 2008 to 2.37 in 2009 indicating an increased ability to pay current liabilities with their current assets. Both Boston Scientific and St. Jude Medical report a current ratio of 2.02, giving Medtronic a slight liquidity advantage over its competitors. <laughs> So, well, liquidity and solvency ratios are very important. Who really cares about them? When all we care about is money! Money! Now I'm here to talk about profitability. Profitability is very important for a company. Now, Medtronic has done very well in this regard, even in spite of a downward turning economy. Look up here at this graph. Medtronic has managed to stay in the black all throughout 2007, 2008, and 2009. While one of their main competitors, St. Jude Medical, has also managed to stay in the black. However, Boston Scientific, another one of their main competitors, has gone down the tubes. So, Medtronic.
Medtronic should be able to pick up some market share from them. Now let's talk about some numbers. Let's talk numbers here. We have $14.5 billion in net revenue for the 2009 fiscal year. Or the 2008 fiscal year, make that. <laughs> um, total costs and expenses were 82% of that net revenue, leaving just $2.1 billion net income. Now that's about a 9.9% return on assets, a 0.75 gross profit ratio, and a 14.8% profit margin ratio. These are very important numbers to look at when you're evaluating a company, because for the investor, they'll tell you how much return you can expect to get on the investment that you put into the company. Um, <laughs> now, if, if, if I can put you back up here to these graphs, you may notice a very interesting trend. The net revenue has gone up every year for the last five years. However, the net income has gone down, indicated by this purple line right here. That's a very interesting trend. So we looked into that a little bit further, and what we discovered is that they are losing lots of money because they're getting sued. <laughs> and also they're having to restructure. However, the restructuring of the company is a good sign because that means that they are positioning themselves for strong growth in the future. And so when the economy turns around, be looking for Medtronic to turn around also and make you lots of money. I just want to make you money. Hey, enough about how much the company is making. How much money are they making you? I looked up some stock prices here. And for Medtronic in 2007, they were at $53.36 per share. As you can see, as time went on, the stock price continued to go down, perhaps because of the uh, suing that was going on. Now, as we can see, there's a slight increase. Looking forward to a better future. Right now, currently, Medtronic stock price is at $43.48 dollars per share. Moving on, St. Jude's Medical, number one competition. They started off $35 per share. Currently, they are at $38.33 per share. Not bad. Boston Scientific, our third uh, company we're looking at. $17 per share. Currently, $8.67 per share. Ouch. As far as dividends goes, Medtronic blew the other two out of the water with a whopping $504 million in dividends in 2007, $565 million in dividends in 2008, and $843 million in dividends in 2009 alone. The other two, St. Jude's and Boston Scientific, do not currently give out dividends. So should we buy Medtronic? They blow out the candle. Is there anything better than How do you like that, man? We're just making the money for people. Mad money. You can't afford to miss it. Yeah. <laughs>